Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are Can you? anybody hear me? Yeah, yeah we can I hear you. Hear. Perfect. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank welcome. God. Okay. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first time that I see Saura on the camera. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <you>. No obligado. <laughs> no obligado. <laughs> Es que That is called a uh, group pressure or peer pressure. Okay, la presión de grupo. <laughs> that happens. That happens. So, how are you? How are you feeling today? Uh, great. I great. feel happy, teacher. Very good. Happy, me too. Uh, did you enjoy the long weekend? Did yeah, we were reading. A bit? We yeah. were reading. Okay. You were reading, okay. Nice. I saw the, the picture that you uploaded to the WhatsApp group. So that's nice. And um, yeah, actually, uh, reading can help a lot in increasing vocabulary and comprehension. And if you do reading with, um, how can I tell you? Reading out loud, it's even better, more beneficial because you are improving your pronunciation too. So it helps a lot. And uh, well, right now, I think that for today's session, I will ask Brandy to share the screen because uh, my, my connection has been a problem all this afternoon. Uh, I suppose I suppose somehow is a is a computer because it's a little old. My computer is officially dead. My personal computer is dead. So the technician told me that if I want to bring it back to life, I have to get a new motherboard. I think. So um, that's the story. I have my 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 little computer here. I will give you the control and you can move. Okay, perfect. So I don't know if you can see it. No, it's right here. Okay. So this is my laptop and it's just a little decoration right now. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you so much, Brandy. I appreciate it. So um, before we get started, okay, uh, we are going to go to the breakout rooms and just share a little bit about what we did on this weekend, so we're going to practice simple past, okay? For example, for example, um, on the weekend, the question can be, uh, I mean, you can ask a couple of questions, right? Question number one can be like, uh, how was your weekend? And question number two, what do you do, okay? What do you do? Um, if you ask me the question, for example, teacher, how was your weekend? I will tell you, oh, my weekend was great, a little busy, but I enjoyed it. Oh, really? And what do you do? Well, on Saturday, I had a class and also I had a meeting. Then on, uh, on Sunday, I went, I, I ran some errands, okay, to buy some things that my brother was requesting for me. So, uh, because my mom was going to visit him. So yesterday, um, I went to the airport. So I was driving all day uh, to drop off my mom there. And um, I came back to San Miguel around 6.30, more or less. Uh, so it was a long day, but it was good because it was my first time. I mean, it was the first time for my mom to travel by, by plane. And she was excited, nervous, but excited at the same time. So that's what I, I, I can tell you about my weekend, right? So that's what, that's what you do, right? You talk about the activities that you did on Saturday, Friday, uh, Sunday, and yesterday too, right? Um, it's just to catch up and to practice speaking, okay? So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms, okay, with uh, two more people so that you have the opportunity to practice more speaking, right? More time. So um, I will create five, I think four breakout rooms because some people cannot use the microphone because they are at work. So um, for example, Oscar, I remember that Oscar and Evelyn mentioned that 
Uh, okay, Carolina is requesting for the link. Okay, somebody has the link handy. You can send it to the group, please. Okay, and uh, okay, perfect. So, Oscar and Evelyn ask for permission to be listening, right? And so, Oscar is here and sounds is normal. Okay, so the groups are complete right now. Uh, we have somebody coming to the uh, to the class now. Welcome on board, uh, Sylvia, and also Jose Luis, Sil uh, Norma, Melvin, Jancy, Giselle, Leslie, Jorge, Edwin, Nelson, Jenny, Brandy, Edma, Isaura, and that's it, right? I mentioned everybody. So, um, new week, new uh, topics to discuss, new things to learn, and new opportunities to practice. Okay, let's get started with the first uh, breakout room. Two questions, right? How was your weekend and what did you do? That is a question, what did you do? So uh, I think we're ready to go. Brandy, you have a question? Yeah, it's just Edwin have problem with the computer, say, on chat. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Edwin has problem with the computer. Ah, so with I'm internet. The internet connection. Okay, so uh, I will send somebody else to the room number three. Um, okay, here we go. All right, so we have a. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yes, and yeah, we're ready. So I will give you for uh, just five minutes, okay, for you to catch up, and then we come back to the to the class. Ready, set, and go. Bye. Bye, see you in a moment. Okay, Sylvia will be in row four, and Jenny in row number two. Okay, accept the invitation now, please, to join the breakout room. Jorge, Nelson, and Jesus. Did you get the invitation to join the breakout rooms? Right, we're just missing Nelson and Jorge. Let me know if you have problems with the microphone or with the uh, invitation. If not, just, just wait over here and I will check that everybody's practicing on the breaker rooms. John Witt. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, I know what is that. Yeah. Okay. And you, Melvin? Uh, weekend, my weekend was relaxing too. I on Saturday I, I worked and then I got out to to eat out and Sunday I just rest in my in my house watching watching movies right in the and the, on the month no in the month mm, the lunes on monday uh, on monday on, on monday. monday on, on monday. monday yes mm -hmm. on monday i had to to work too really yes i had to work <laughs> <laughs> normal it's mm -hmm. normal schedule sad <laughs> 
Where do yes. you work? Uh, I work, um, it's called Condata, but I work from Tigo. To Tigo mm. no, yes, uh, to Tigo, Costa Rica. Mm. Nice. My family. Uh, um, on, on Sunday, I practice with my classmates, my language. <laughs> oh. In the afternoon, I went to the cinema. I watched the the Mario Bros. <laughs> and on Sunday, um, in the morning, I did my homework on platform. In the afternoon, <laughs> in the afternoon, I, I teacher, ya no me quise. No, continue, continue. <laughs> yes, continue. Oh, you, can, you can ask questions like, how do you say or how do you pronounce? Okay. How, no, teacher, es que mire, es que viera cómo lo repasa en la mente, pero... Me cuesta, va. Los otros compañeros no han dicho nada. Ok, the next one, the next volunteer. Bye. What was your How work? Work? A mí, me o yo. Bye. I have a very busy day. Mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday, uh, I cleaned the house and was tidying up. In Sunday, in Monday, I uh, find the house. I painted the house. Mm, yeah, okay, you painted the house. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, uh, today, I went shopping. You went shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. How Excellent. was your weekend? Well, my weekend was very, very tired because I went to the San Vicente and I went to the supermarket and buy a uh, uh, bread, coffee, sugar, and then you're pregnant. Yes. Hey, <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations, but uh, how three wow. babies. That's great. News. Yes. But Two babies. But <laughs> but the last one, how old is is the last one? What? Me está diciendo que estás embarazada. You're pregnant. Yes. Pero me dijiste que acababa de tener mm -hmm. uno hace poco. Sí. ¿Cuántos años tiene el último? Va a tener How... dos años. Ah. Dos años. So you will have three with this. Yes. <laughs> it's the third baby. Yes. I don't have no, the I last can't. baby uh, is is twenty one months. Twenty one years old. Twenty one months. No 20... months. Months. Month. Almost two years. Almost two years. Uh huh. Ah, uh, I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm not mom. I don't know how this work. <laughs> 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 I don't understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the time is over. I, I couldn't share it with you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. you? I was so mute and I was talking. <laughs> like All right. the other day, he was blah, blah, uh. blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
the majority of you <laughs> had the opportunity to practice speaking, so that's great. Okay. No. Uh, Very easy. Very easy. It's too much people in the group have to be just two or three as much. Yes, exactly. Uh, the problem is that some people couldn't use the microphone. So for that reason, the groups look a little big, right? But but some people couldn't use the microphone. They were just listening. Okay. So we're going to move on. And um, something that I want to know that is an extra question, okay, is what do you do on the weekend to practice English? Okay, what do you do on the weekend to practice English? So, Isaura, what do you do on the weekend to practice English? I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't what hear you. do you do on the weekend to practice English? Okay. What do you do on the weekend to practice English? For example, in my case, I watched a movie in English. Okay, okay, for me that was practice. Uh, in my case, I practice with Brandy and Azalia and Norma. Nice. Uh, and, uh, yes, at uh, the 2 p.m. at 5 p.m. <laughs> From 2 to 5? Yes. Three hours. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. No problem. Uh, next one. Uh, Melvin, what do you do to practice English on the weekend? Mm, read some things in English. I have okay, read. you read. In the past, you read. read. Uh, sorry, I read, I read, some read. Things I in read something in English, yes. Okay, uh, Edma? I, pra I am watching the videos. Um, read I watch the, the videos, read, read books. the books in English. And to practice with my partners and Miss Compañera. <laughs> Saura, and you Brady, with your... Okay, okay, excellent. So um, let's see, the next one is Jenny. Um, I listen music in English. Listen to music I in read, English, okay. I read in English and practice what my co classmates and watch videos. All right. Then uh you watching videos is good. Uh Jancy? I listen to music and good. watch the movie. And watch movies. Okay. Norma Elizabeth? Lisana. Uh, I listen to videos and listen to music and practice with Emma, Taura, Randy, and Jenny. All right. So you had the your part of the girls' club. Then we continue with um let me see. Susanna. I don't know if Susie can speak now or Sylvia. Hello. Hello. Uh, in my case, um, listen TV series. I uh, listen to music. Listen to music. Nice. Excellent. Giselle. I practice in the platform. Practice in the platform. And I wow. listen. I listen to the music and. Only that. Only that. Okay. Uh, Leslie. I am uh, watch TV serials in English. I listen okay. to music in English and I practice my uh, with myself or myself. I practice with myself with in myself front of the mirror. Okay. <laughs> in front of the mirror. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, next one, Jose Luis. Uh, I listen to music, K-pop, and I watch the video. Uh, I practice in platform. Awesome. Edwin, Alexander. Uh, 
Edwin, can you use your microphone? Dijo que tenía problemas. He had problems with the internet, right? So maybe he can write in the chat. If you cannot use the microphone, use the chat, okay? Please send a message on the on the on the chat. Jesus. Hi teacher and everyone. I listen music in English and read the letter. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Uh then we're missing just uh, I think uh Nelson. Nelson and Jorge. Nelson or Jorge, what do you do to practice English on the weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sorry, uh, I am loose. Uh, ask me the question, please. Okay, okay, what did you do to practice English on the weekend? Okay. Uh, I was uh, uh, doing the the statement and the platform. Okay, excellent. Yeah, um, reading, reading, uh, reading, writing, writing, uh, listen the videos on the YouTube, on YouTube. Okay. That's, that's all, um, and I was working too. And working. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Jorge, for sharing. Uh, who's missing, who's missing? Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, Evelyn can speak now, or um, well, Jancy already finished me. me, right? Brandy, besides talking with your classmates, or what do you do? Uh, for me, I always watch uh, like a uh, small vocabulary on YouTube or on Facebook because I try to improve my pronunciation and try to learn more uh, vocabulary for sharing the group. Uh, I like to watch some movies or part of some movies just for learn more new words. And by the way, I try to improve in the group and take a note in my, because I have a store, you know? So I try yeah. to take yeah. a note, like I bought vegetable, I bought this and I try to write everything on English. Even the- Everything in, in English. All right, perfect. Thank you for sharing. Um, and right now, something that I'm going to share with you also is a little link for you to have a, like a conversation samples on different scenarios. Uh, I will share that with you. It's just loading right now. I don't know, it's a little slow. Okay, here it is. So uh, this is a nice website where you can find a different, a, Practice for listening, reading, pronunciation, and at the same time, you can do some dictations, okay? So this is dailydictation.com. That is the name of the website. I will share the link with you on the WhatsApp group. What's okay, up, so you can, you have access to it later. And um, sometimes, as somebody mentioned, right, I practice in the mirror. It's excellent. So you can imagine this scenario. For example, you go shopping, you go to a restaurant, you go to, uh, um, I don't know, to buy a ticket for to fly or you go to a hotel. So what kind of uh, questions or vocabulary or expressions would you use? It's important that you think about those scenarios, right? If somebody is asking you for directions, imagine that. You see someone uh, from another country and they ask, you, hey, sorry, can you please tell me how to get to a bank or to the Central Park? From here and then you have to give the indication in English right so it's it's something uh, that you have to practice now uh, I got the group here wait a second I'm just going to share the link there you go all right there you have it and now we move on okay so quickly uh, everybody mentioned what you were doing on the weekend how your weekend was everybody was speaking so that's important and you also share your uh, activities to practice English. For example, somebody wrote in the chat that he practiced English with his sister. I think it was Jesus uh, who shared that information. I'm not sure. Evelyn said that she listened to music and sometimes she practiced singing in English and watched movies. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. 
Uh, those are some of the conversations that we had in the chat. I think somebody else was in the chat writing, but I cannot see it right now. Okay, um, so last week we, um, yeah, Edwin said that he practiced with his sister. Okay, let's move on and scroll. Uh, we're going to take a look quickly to the conversations that we had, right? Uh, about health problems, right? Over here, we have the back case, it really works. So we studied all of this before, okay? Uh, we studied the complement, so it's a general review. But right now, the most important is what you practice related to uh, suggestions, right? Suggestions, in this case, it's on the lesson 13. Wait a second, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down to the page. Okay, so uh, we focus on food, right? Going out for dinner. We had the so, to, neither, either. Uh, okay, Norma Callejas, thank you. Uh, you listen to audiobooks and watch videos or movies. Excellent. Okay, so um, now that you mentioned audiobooks, I remember that I have a little test to complete. Okay, now uh, we talk about different types of uh, tastes, right? Uh, in English, for example, healthy, greasy, salty, rich, spicy, delicious, blonde. Um, and so on, and um, the stress in responses, right? So I was telling you the examples about uh, how we can play with the stress. Then you were completing with me the exercise on international dishes and the conversation only Brandy and Isaura sent me the recording for practice on the conversation of ordering a meal. Uh, so it was really nice. And um, now, because of time, we're just going to get two pairs of students, okay? Two pairs of students. So the first two students to raise their hand are going to participate. Wait a second, I'm just going to check the screen. Okay, for some reason, I cannot see all the panel. Okay, so if you have... It's because I didn't upload. It's no, just I don't here. Know. But here, you can do it here. No, no, I mean, I cannot see the panel where I have all the participants. Wait a second, I'm going to check. Maybe here. No, I cannot control the panel for some reason. But anyways, uh, I, will, I will try to move on. And uh, just two people, okay, who want and to. And I can I can raise my hand right here, but because I when I'm sharing my my screen Your with screen. you, I can't find this part. So mm -hmm. okay, so two volunteers, the first two volunteers, please to raise your hand. I'm here. Okay, we have Susana and Norma and Jesus and Edna. Perfect. So Susana and Norma, Elisa, Lisano, and then Jesus uh -huh. with Edna. Uh, I all right. And first teacher, I told you. <laughs> Sorry, they were they did it. They did it first this time. This time, okay. Uh, so we have waiter and the customer, right? So, a uh, waiter is for Norma. Okay. Ready, set, may go. I, may I say your order? Mm -hmm. yes, I would like <laughs> to love to... All right. Um, Me. Would you like a salad? Yes, I I will have a Mexican salad. Okay, so Jose is helping you, no problem. Uh, okay, continue. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue dressing. cheese and vinegar. Yes, blue cheese, in, please. Uh, would you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like large and side tea, please. Okay. All right, I like a large oh, iced time. tea, please. Okay, reactions, please, for them. And let me see, the next two. 
It was Edma. And who is your partner, Edma? I don't know, teacher. It was, I think it was Jesus. Jesus, okay. Yeah. Yes. Jesus, you will be the customer and Edma will be the waiter. Waiter. Well, the waitress in this case. The waitress. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. May I may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kiosk. All right. And do you like a salad? Yes. I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of this this saying would you like? We have blue cheese and vinegar? Dressing blue vinegar, cheese, please. Uh -huh. And would and would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like large iced tea, please. All right, okay. there you go, and that's it, right? So good, excellent. Thank you so much. All right. Um, so as I said, right, in order to have the practice, I recommended you to record yourself in your cell phone and send me the recording through WhatsApp, right? So you do the personal practice, I listen to you, and if there is something wrong, I tell you, okay, sorry, but that's not a correct pronunciation, right? So please do that, right? If you if you have the, the time, record yourself, say in the conversation, and just send it to me, okay, through WhatsApp to practice. Now, uh, as you could see in the conversation, we have uh, different expressions, for example, we use would to ask for a, well, for a request or to offer like something as an invitation, right? For example, uh, would you like to go to the movies with me? Uh, or would you like to do homework? Or would you like to practice English uh, tomorrow? Uh, so the question in this case, we have four different questions. Number one, what would you like? What would you like? The pronunciation is would, would, okay? What would you like? Number two, what kind of dressing would you like? What kind of dressing, okay? Dressing would you like? Dressing not that, no tiene nada que ver con vestido, okay? Dressing in this case is aderezos, right? Dressings. Uh, would you, what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Drink. And the last one, who, I mean, would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? And the answers are here, right? So now we're going to practice. I ask the question, you tell me the, the two answers. Okay, question one, what would you like? I like. I like the lamb kebabs. I would like. The lamb kebabs, okay, then uh -huh. the other one. I'll have I'll a small have salad. I'll have a small I'll salad. have a small salad. Okay, to to practice uh, in a similar oh, yeah. way, we're going yeah. to do the same. The next one. Uh, the first answer is for girls, and the second answer is for boys. Okay, for the gentlemen, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Okay. Second question: What kind of dressing would you like, girls? Number the first answer. I would like, like cheese, cheese, please. Oh, like, geez, please. Okay, second vinaigrette. answer. Second answer, boys, uh, gentlemen, uh, is vinaigrette. Uh, Don't forget, vinaigrette. Okay. Uh, I have vinaigrette. I vinaigrette. Uh, have vinaigrette. I'll have vinaigrette. Okay, I'll have vinaigrette. Correct. Question three. What would you like to drink, girls? I like an a nice tea. tea. I like a nice tea. Boys, number two. I'll have coffee. I'll have I'll coffee. have coffee. Coffee. Okay, the coffee Alex. And the last question four. Would you like anything else, ladies? Yes, yes please. please. I'd I like some, some water. 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 Boys, number two. No. No, thank you. Thank you. That'll, that'll be all. That'll be all. That'll be all. That'll be all. Right, there you go. So the contraction is I'll for I will and I'd for I would, okay? Uh, so we have the two contractions there and you can use both, okay? When you answer, uh, you can say I'll have, that, that is when you make a decision, right? Um, and I would like when you prefer something. I would like 
for example, a hamburger. So what would you like? Oh, I would like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, pepperoni pizza, right? I would like, uh, so you have the two different options, okay? I will have is like, eh, voy a creer tal cosa, right? And the other one is, eh, quisiera tal cosa. So, quisiera, que, voy a querer, voy a uh, pedir. So, it's similar, okay? Similar, you decide which one you choose, okay? When you prefer something, when you make a decision about something, you can use the two of them. Now, we have a conversation that you need to complete. For this, I will ask you to uh, take a screenshot, okay? Take a screenshot of the conversation, okay? Take a screenshot on your cell phone, computer, etc., or have your manual open to complete this conversation. You will complete the conversation in pairs, in pairs. When you finish completing the conversation, you are going to practice the conversation in the breakout rooms too. So you will go to the breakout rooms to discuss what is the complement of the, of the blanks, of the spaces in the conversation. And when you finish, the conversation, you start practicing speaking, right? Mm -hmm. Saying the conversation. For example, what you like to order? What do you think is a compliment here? Wood. Wood. Wood, yes. yes what you. would you like? What would you like to order? So uh, over there, you write wood. And then the customer says, I have I will fried have, chicken. I will have. I will have I will the fried chicken. I will have the fried chicken. So if you see, we use will with have. Normally, when we are talking about food, I will have, uh, for example, a uh, piña colada. I will have a uh, croissant, right? I will have. So we use the I'll and have together to make an order, right? When we order at a restaurant or bar. Now, uh, or you go to a supermarket, right? And then uh, you go like that, right? So completing the conversation with would, with will, okay? Uh, or the compliment, for example, in, in the next one, waitress, you like rice or potatoes? Would. What do you think is a compliment? Wood. Wood, would you like? Wood. Okay. Potatoes, please. What kind of potatoes would you like? Like. like. Okay. In este caso, no es el auxiliar que hace falta, sino el verbo principal. Okay. Would you like? like. And then you continue like that, right? So for this commerce, for this activity, you are going to have seven minutes maximum for both. Complete the conversation and practice the conversation in the breakout rooms. Okay. Some of you are going to be in pairs. Some of you are going to be in groups of three, depending on the, the problem that you have with the microphone or with the internet mm -hmm. connection. Let me just recreate the breaker room. So we have five breaker rooms. That will be six maximum. Okay, six breaker rooms, seven. Yeah, Edwin, Jose Luis, and Norma de Quinteros. Brandy with Giselle and Jesus, Sylvia, Jancy, and Jenny. Uh, then Jorge, Melvin, and Oscar, Isaura, and Leslie, Norma, Callejas, and Susana. Edma with Evelyn, Marroquin. Okay, uh, just in case Evelyn is still driving, right? It's not, it's not home yet. I'm going to send an extra person to the group number six. I mean, number seven. So that would be... Jenny, I will move Jenny to room number seven. Ready, set, and go. See you later. Accept the invitation now to join the breakout rooms. You got seven minutes. All right, Norma, Ejas, and Sylvia and Edwin, do you get the invitation to join the breakout room?
Yes, no. Let me know. All right, Sylvia and Norma, are you there? Okay, Norma, wait a second. I'm going to send you to the breakout room. Number six, right? Okay, there you go. There you have the invitation. We're just missing Sylvia. Okay, Norma, do you get the invitation? Yes, okay, perfect. Teacher, andamo buscando. You didn't Let's take see. the screenshot. Ah. Uh, no la encontramos. Bueno, yo aquí lo estoy buscando en la plataforma. Share. Okay, you didn't you didn't take the screenshot. That is a problem. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. I have it. I have it here. Maybe I can share the screen with you. If not, I will tell you what page. Is in the lesson in the unit 13. Uh, after we have the first conversation, mm -hmm. is um, section five. Uh, no sé. Cinco punto. Ay, no lo encuentro. It's part of the section four. Okay, uh, it's not opening, it's not opening. Uh, if I get to open it, I will send you a picture to the group, but, but yes, that's the reason why I told you, okay, take a screenshot, take a screenshot. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. It's loading, loading, loading. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Pero es la sección cuatro, verdad, teacher? It's about food. Mm -hmm. Food. Food, restaurant. Nope. Mm, 
can take a picture. So in this in this breakout room we have Honey Susana, you and Norma Callejas. Okay. No recuerdo haber visto esa conversación, pero, pero estoy buscando en la sección 4 y no lo encuentro ahí. Quizás en el Mediterranean Exam lo vimos. Voy a no. No. no, after the exam. Antes del exam, después no, del después. exam. Después, uh -huh. after is después. Uh -huh. Ok. This is on page... Number in a coffee shop, page 89. Okay, we'll send it to the WhatsApp group right now. Qué problema, perdimos el tiempo. Okay, I'm sending it to you through the WhatsApp group right now. Three, two, one, here you go. Okay, teacher. Okay, there you have it. Yo sí me acuerdo de ese ejercicio. De hecho, traté de hacerlo. Y, ajá, y este, no lo entendí muy bien. Pero sí traté de hacerlo. No recuerdo qué, qué ejercicio era. No lo encuentro. Ya lo, ya puso el teacher una imagen en WhatsApp. Ah, en WhatsApp. Ah. Ahí lo podemos. Ajá. Okay, just discuss it, okay? Because of time, just discuss it because you got just one more minute. Okay. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, what, 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 would, what would you like to order? To order, okay. Continue. Order. I'd like have the fried chicken. I will. Yes, I share the work we have. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Would, will, would, like, would. Would you like? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. In this case, I think this one is not correct. Okay. Yeah. Like mashed potatoes. I think it's I would. Uh, it's incomplete. Okay. Would you like anything else? Good. I will have a cup of coffee. Yes. Would you like anything else? Yes. No, that would be all. Nice. Would you like a dessert? Then, yes, I would. Uh, what flavor would you like? And I like. Now, in this case, the last one is I will have, I will have, I'll have. <laughs> okay. I'm hurting it. You heard what? 
<laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. So you finished the conversation. Now we're just going to check, right? Um, so the first one is what we like to order. Then I will have the fried chicken. Then what? Okay, would you like? Wait. <laughs> okay. Who, who, don't do who, that. Who? Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You're mo you're doing. No, it's not me. Ah. It's not me. I swear. I promise. It's not me. Okay. Um. So I would like mashed potatoes. Then okay. Mashed. And would you like anything to drink? That is a compliment here. And would you like anything to drink? I guess I will have. Okay, a cup of coffee. I will have a cup of coffee. Would you like anything else? No, that will be all. Okay, that will be all. So it's that will be all. Or the contraction, that'll, that'll be all. Then later, would you like dessert? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I would like ice cream. What flavor would you like? Mm, I will have, for the contraction, I'll have chocolate, please. Okay, I'll bring it right away. I'll bring it right away. Okay, so there you have it. Now, that is a conversation, okay? Uh, then we scroll down a little bit, okay? Uh, we will practice that tomorrow, so you can just uh, practice the conversation Two, right? That is on page number 89. Page 89. Now, uh, in order to improvise a little bit, okay, we are, we are, you will see the, the role play in a coffee shop. Okay, so we have student A and student B. We are going to try, we are going to try to see if we can improvise tomorrow, right? A little bit. Okay, vamos a ver su habilidad para improvisar mañana. So we're going you're going, some of you are going to volunteer, right? And having different roles. Okay, Brandy, you have a question? No, I will be the volunteer. For example, <laughs> Brandy, uh, you are a customer in a coffee shop, okay? I am the waiter. So you have to order for lunch the following options. Spaghetti and meatballs, a tomato and cucumber salad, a nice tea, with lemon and a slice of cheesecake. Okay, good evening, uh, miss. My name is Ray Marcus, and it's a pleasure to assist you today. What would you like to order? Uh, I was checking the menu, but I want to order the best dish. Would you like to uh, tell me which one is the best, please? I would strongly recommend you the spaghetti and meatballs. That's our specialty, number one specialty. I will. I will. I will order this. Thank you for your advice. Would you like a salad? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, please, but without dressing, please. No dressings, okay. Uh, not even olive oil or vinegar? Vinegar is okay, great, thank you. Okay, perfect. Anything to drink? Would you oh, like yes, drink? please, uh, claim. Uh, do you have? uh lemonade or iced tea yeah actually we have iced tea with lemon do you have refill yeah you can have a refill thank uh, you so i will you like it would you like a small medium or large oh uh, large please thank you large okay with um uh, a lot of ice or just a little or no ice uh with a little ice please Okay, little eyes. Um, now, we finish the, 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 the dinner, right? Uh, okay, miss, uh, may I suggest no. you a uh, dessert to finish your dinner? We have crepes. Susanna, we have would you ice cream. We have yeah. crepes, ice cream, uh, cheesecake, and uh, apple pie. I have an ice, um, let me see. No, ice cream. Yeah, please. Ice cream, chocolate, please. I love chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate ice cream. Okay, light or regular? <laughs> Meat gallon, please. 
<laughs> medium gallon. Okay, so that would be all. It's fifty-five dollars and twenty-five cents. I didn't say give me this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that that's what we're going to do tomorrow, right? To improvise different scenarios at a restaurant, right, or a bar, right? And so we're just going to do that, right? And yep, that's correct. We're going to have a class on Friday. Yes. And then basically that will be all, right? So tomorrow we finish with the lesson 13, okay? So I recommend you to take a look at the last exercises and to tip or not to tip. You can start reading this because tomorrow we're going to read aloud. Vamos a leer en voz alta, so to check pronunciation. So I recommend you that you study this, right? Investigate the pronunciation of some words, maybe. For example, uh, how do you pronounce the word, uh, let's say, wajes. How do you pronounce the word wajes? Wajes Wait. here. Wages is a correct wages. pronunciation. Yeah, wages, wages. singular, plural is wages. Mm -hmm. wages. Correct. So that will be all for today, guys. Uh, have a great night. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Take care of yourself. Keep on work. Keep on working on the platform. Don't forget about that. Complete your exercises. And if you have any questions, just send me a message, okay? Individually or to the group. That's okay. So uh, if you don't have any further questions, we're going to stop here. And uh, hold on. There's a message in the chat. Akubara. Okay. Jesus was asking for Akubara. Okay. Now, uh, that will be all for today. Bon appetit if you're going to have dinner. And if not, just get ready and get enough sleep. Okay, guys, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Okay. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Take care. See you. Goodbye. Good night. See you soon. See you tomorrow. See you soon. See you tomorrow, Rito. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Y como y nunca que... <laughs>